um, on the left hand pane and then you can actually navigate to the images and add a description in the case of if it's a mathematical an image of a mathematical formula then you have a way to uh, put it in an ASCII math which then turns it into MathML and the final tool that I just wanted to show you to make the point that this stuff is already happening today is here's an, a very popular tool that I uh, among the blindness community uh, that is called WebVisum and here we go and that allows you allows a sighted user to annotate for a blind user a um, an image so that's what you see here and so once I annotate that image any other uh, user of this web by some uh, Firefox plugin would be able to see that description so as you can see these things are being um, this use case is in place today um, and it actually helps to point out what some of the requirements for annotation should be um, I'm not going to in the interest of time get into every detail of these here um, but and you can find my find them on my presentation but to conclude what I wanted to say was that annotation is a very powerful tool for dealing with accessibility of non-visual content it's happening today you saw three different examples of how it's done today and we need to have kind of a unified and standard mechanism so that the efforts of a few good Samaritans who are doing this annotation and adding these descriptions can have much broader impact. Thank you. Thanks, Gerardo. Um, do we have any questions with Gerardo? Oh, just one second. Mitar. Um, hi, I have a question. So, uh, in traditional web annotation, the main interaction is often highlighting. Um, I cannot imagine highlighting be a good user interface for blind people. Uh, do you have any suggestions? There, there are ways to do that. In fact, so, so, um, yeah. So, so, I think so, so, yeah, so uh, my question is, can you maybe describe what are the good user interfaces for like selecting the text or, or, or making annotation on the text for blind people? Yeah, I mean, you can with a, if you're using a screen reader, you can actually uh, highlight a range. So in, for example, in, in VoiceOver and in JAWS, you can do that. So there are ways to deal with that. And uh, in fact, Jake uh, had some personal experience with that um, last year from Hypothesis because we built a, we did some prototyping work around selection of text using a screen reader with hypothesis so well in the screen reader you can step through individual letters and words and then you can actually use keyboard controls to, to select specific words okay. um, what are some of the best practice from MathML and some of the other format structures about how to structure annotations what are the specifics you would say would be things we should using to guide what annotations you need to go to? Um, yeah, uh, so let me make sure if, if I understood the question. Is the question, um, what are the best practices for using MathML with annotation? No, what are the best practices you feel like, it could be that, but what are the best practices why you chose to say MathML should be used? What are the things that it offers? Oh, I'm the, sorry. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah so the, the, the advantage of MathML is that it's a machine-readable format, and there are, um, uh, for example, VoiceOver knows how to take MathML and turn it into uh, spoken text. Um, and there are some other tools out there like Design Science has a tool, a plugin to IE, unfortunately it doesn't work in IE 11 anymore, but that will also speak MathML. So it's, 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 it's and the, the one big thing too is that um, an advantage of MathML is that you can navigate the mathematics and so if you can imagine a really complex formula, uh, it's pretty hard for a student to listen to the whole thing at once and their ability to navigate the math is very important. I think MathML is Tim again. I think MathML is well suited for that. But there are different kinds of MathML, both right. semantic and presentation, yeah. math, which do it to different degrees. And there's still a lot of use of tech. And there's been a lot of good mm -hmm. work done on tech 
to speech mm -hmm. as well. So LaTeX, just to be more precise, is does have fairly good fidelity for translation, for accessibility as well, reasonably good. Yeah, I, I, I'm not an expert on, on that. I know that where people are pushing for is on the MathML, and MathML is mostly presentational MathML. Content MathML hasn't really made any, any uh, had any adoption. Um, that said, there's been some pretty good work done with presentational math, accessibility of presentational MathML.